Hello guys, uh, my name is uh, Mustafa Talebi and I'm going to create a particle world using one of the very famous plugins which is called Trapco Particular. So, first of all I'm going to create a new composition, call it back to main comp and uh, let it be, let's see, let it be the same as HD, no, let it be sprint. So, uh, and hit OK. Good. Go to create a new solid, call it particle, and OK. Go another layer, call it PG, and OK. And for it, let it be uh, turned off for a moment so I could see all the particles and in here about the uh, uh, background color it's okay but this one it is so good and take a look okay so if I just display it it's a burst of particles or emitting uh, round and round it's an omni sort of emission, so you just do not like that. I go about two seconds worth, and I go to emitter, put it in box mode, and then the size extend it like this, and in Z it must be at least two thousand. So, good. and you can see that they just are made within the comp which which, which I do, in fact do not like so I must uh, put put initial state for it so that from the very first moment there be a uh, uh, environmental distribution of the particles. So I go to emission extras run to uh let it it here so just like this you see them I'm going to add a camera color camera nothing I'll let it be in this 35 millimeter and uh, okay it's good so uh if I go here top view we're gonna see I hit uh, P for it and keyframe it in the box just somewhere here. I set it about here. So if I go to camera one, you're gonna see it's, these are the last particles. Get I will also. Well, so uh, do some of the other things. Uh, uh, velocity, I, I, I'm gonna take it down about very. They, they, they have a very low dynamism. And this one, the most important option for velocity. And they, they, they shimmer because they die shortly after they bath. So I, I go to particle and put it ten. Let it play. So because I see my the end of my comp here, one of the things that I'm going to do is in fact, preventing it from producing an engine and generating more particles. So what I do is uh, changing some options here. Uh, I mean that. Go here and uh, I click on it. About a little after that, I it zero. 
So let's get like this. Just a bit of a, a beginning. You see some of them? Shortly after that, you're going to see that they are. So, uh, 10 seconds. Uh, Make them do more. So that I get a much more clear kind of thing for it. Okay. Good. Uh, I go to the composition, call it uh, text animation. And Going to put it on D and let's say 50. It's only let's say 5 frame in there. So you can see, it's it, it, it. gonna get finished. I am there and okay, it's good. Let me duplicate them five time. S L Z and B. So turn them all off. And the first one go there. Second one go there. You're going to see it's been snapped to frames. So if we play that, uh, so turn them on. So it's good. Text animation, I go to the project directory and there. So I go to particle options and down here, let me. Uh, go here for particle type. I'm going to put it on. Uh, let me sprite colorize and layer text animation and uh, random still frame. So, what you can see. Is that they 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 are not going to change and let's make a burst of particles. So we're gonna see what's going on here. Okay, uh, this is. The end of uh, part one. In the next part, I'm going to have to finish this project.